Hi guys, welcome back to the Casas fam. Oh, can't even see them. Yes. So anyways, we're doing a mukbang today of, what is this called? Buffalo, Buffalo wall, wings. wall Wings. And by the title of this video, you guys already know what we're going to be talking about. We got my husband and Nan in the background. Say hi, Nan. <coughs> so yeah. Hi. <laughs> it's okay, you're not going Anyway, so we're gonna talk about well he's gonna talk about his experience with covid i've been trying to film this video for a long time damn you're me why should they give me so anyways we're gonna just get right into it as you can tell we're already grubbing so tell them when you got covid so when i got covid i got it at work no when oh what date it was after Fourth of July. Um, it was like, I think it was July 9th. That's when you went to the doctor, no? Yeah, I think so. Um, we um, I started feeling sick at, at work. It was a a Wednesday. Got me on this. You remember? <clears throat> I took you chicken salad that day. That was a sandwich, but to be exact. There was chicken salad because I made a video on TikTok. So that I day, want... get this ranch puppy. You want to try ranch? No. So okay. that day, okay. I remember I gave him his food, and he kept on telling me that he felt no. like he was dizzy. Mommy. Lightheaded. Oh, lightheaded. So I was like, maybe you're getting sick, but. Mommy. Nunca me cruzó that it was going to be COVID. What, Papa? That's good. It's good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. I just chicken and eat. So I never thought it was going to be COVID, you know? So, what else happened? That day what? You didn't finish your day, huh? Mm-hmm. You did? So I finished work. Um, I went to, uh, I finished work, got back to the warehouse. Usually I stay there till late at night to load up. Um, I wasn't feeling good at all. Feeling really lightheaded. I went home. Um, and also, mind you, he never misses work. Like, only when he has time off. But like, así que, no, I don't feel like going to work and doesn't show up. He's not like that, so. He doesn't miss work, so when I when he miss work, he miss work right the next day. Uh, well, I went to work actually. Oh, you went to work. And then. Um. So I woke up that Thursday. That happened Wednesday. That Thursday I woke up. Nice. I actually woke up good. I got ready as soon as I um, opened the front door to go to work, and the the air hit me. I started feeling um super lightheaded, really bad. So I still drove to work. And I let my management know that I wasn't feeling well and that uh, I didn't know what it was, but I wasn't feeling well. We didn't have no coverage at work, so they're like, no, well, just you feel good. You don't have a fever. And I was like, you know what? I don't feel good. So at the end of the day, I just took off. I went home real quick to let Vanessa know that, you know, I went home. You know, I wasn't feeling well, so I went home right away in the morning. Um, so I went home and then I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go to the doctor. So, but in me, I'm like, you know what? I'm probably dehydrated. It was a hot day. I was, it, it was in the middle summer. Mm -hmm. And, um, uh, went to urgent care. I let the doctor know what my symptoms. I'm like, just a light hit it. That's all I had. So, she's like, okay. Also, everybody's symptoms are different. Absolutely different. So then I'm like, well, cool. I'm like, well, I, I let her know, and she's like, okay. She's like, well, she's like, just wait in the waiting room. You know, obviously you wear your mask, because like, obviously we're still wearing masks. And we, uh, well, they called me in. And they started checking my vitals. And they seemed all right. I didn't even have a fever. And they, the doctor suggested to get tested for COVID. Now she didn't. She she didn't say she she didn't. She suggested it. She didn't say she didn't say I had to. And 
and I was kind of like, man, I don't want that thing up my nose, you know. Mommy, that's what I heard. And then, so, so we got it done. We got Wait, it done. So did it hurt? Uh, it no, it just felt weird. Got it done. Then after we were done, she's like, you know what? You can't go back to work. I'm like, what do you mean? And she's like, no, it's like, you have a couple of the symptoms of uh, of, of COVID. Symptoms. So I'm like, I'm like, okay. So I let my work know. I'm like, hey, you know what? I um, I got tested. I'm not positive yet, but I'm like, I got tested. And they said I kind of might have it. So the next day, or that night, at home, that's when I started feeling the fever. So basically, all the time that I had COVID, it lasted me exactly 14 days. I had COVID. Um, after the, um, around the 15th day, when I started feeling better, um, I got my positive results, but I was already feeling better. But um, like day one, I just got a fever. Day day two, fever, just so on, so on, fever. And then I started getting a cough, and then I started feeling really lightheaded. But I think I was feeling lightheaded because of the fever. The fever was 102, 101, huh? And he was quarantined in the living room. Mm -hmm. So he slept in the living room for all those days. Um, he lost weight because all he would eat is like caldos because everything I would make him, it would make him cough. So he felt like, I guess like the warmness of the caldos felt good in his throat. That That's all he ate. So literally that's all I would make is freaking caldos. Caldos, caldos, caldos. The rest, the pollo, like... Thank you. So... It took him a long time for you to get an, a positive, res a negative, a negative um, result, right? So, tell them how long you were off of work for. Um, five weeks. Like a month and a, a week. But I was only sick for two weeks. I think now <clears throat> your work doesn't require for you to have a negative result, do they? Yeah. They do still? It depends on what the doctor says. Oh. They go based off of the doctor. So, his work, I guess, wanted a negative result, but I heard that in other places, they don't they don't ask for that anymore, as long as you have like three days symptom free or whatever. So, the doctor told him that the hardest part is not the COVID itself, it's actually testing negative for a test and for you to return back to work. It took him a lot, like a couple trials to get a negative result back. You guys gotta remember, a lot of these people that are back to work after they had COVID, they still test positive. The <clears throat> thing is that the, what they say, I mean, I, I mean, I don't know, but they say that, that uh, after three days of no having symptoms, it's not... Uh, contagious? Or not contagious. Is it true? I don't know. But um, my doctor required me to test the negative to go back to work. If not, don't go back to work. Okay. Do you guys have? No. That's okay. Did you? So tell him like like your taste buds and all that went away. Only for like two days. Really? Yeah. So we were all shocked because. You had COVID and it was like, wow. Okay, my are you full? No. Get this? No. Oh. Because it's something that you feel like it's not never gonna hit your family, and it does, you know. But thank God, you know, it wasn't anything. Uh, he had to be hospitalized or any of that. I was one of the lucky ones, or you were one of the blessed ones. Um. My but uncle it, also had COVID. But it is serious. Yeah, it is serious. It's real. I have an uncle right now that's in the hospital. It's not looking so good. But it is serious. It's not a, it's not a joke. But it just hits everybody different. So, but that's actually had COVID already. But she didn't get no symptoms. Hmm. Oh, and I didn't even get COVID when he was sick. And I was sleeping next to him. But we didn't know he had COVID, so... You finished it. No? Yes. Yeah. You're not that hungry, huh? So I feel like I had COVID last year 
like around this time but COVID wasn't a thing yet or it was but it wasn't called COVID or I don't know because I was really sick and I don't ever get sick I don't have time to get sick but I was sick and I feel like I probably already had it eventually everybody's gonna get it or they have already gotten it I feel like this is gonna be like the flu you think it's gonna be like the flu? I think it's gonna be like the flu but just a little bit worse because this targets your lungs and your respiratory but it's gonna be like oh it's flu season oh it's corona season I mean we're working on a vaccine do you think you're gonna get the vaccine? My mom actually just finished having the Rona and she was pretty sick too. She was dehydrated. But thank God she's doing better. So it has affected a couple of our family members. Um, I think my dad got it too around Father's Day, but he didn't want to get tested, which he should have, but he didn't. I'm full. It's hot now, huh? So I did not have problems breathing when I had COVID. Oh yeah. I did not have problems. He didn't. Ha it didn't damage or didn't affect your respiratory. But I did test positive twice in that period. Mm -hmm. There he is. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you. I feel like during that time it really uh oh that's where the goosenecks the gooseneck thing goes huh mm -hmm. i hadn't seen it i thought it was just like a ball you know? how, how it affected us like me and the kids because obviously we couldn't get close to him we couldn't touch him and how like how do you tell your kid not to touch your, your like their dad you know so annalee definitely felt it she was like, when is when is Papi gonna get better? Or when is he not gonna be sick anymore? So during that time, it was really like depressing in a way because literally like I, I had Clorox bleach, everything. I disinfected the whole house, like almost every day, at least the living room. So it was hard not being able to get close to him. But now, <laughs> now I just, you know, but yeah, it was it was hard. But like I said, thank God that you know things are better. And I don't know. I'm sure you could test, you know, get it again if you already had it. You're not gonna finish that. Phone. But yeah. So the last time I recorded on here. You had another truck. When did you get this truck? Like two, two months ago. Two. It was actually on my cousin's birthday if she's watching this. Ooh. My cousin Gabby's birthday. That day? You got it that day? That day. September seventeenth. So September, yeah. September seventeenth, twenty twenty. So he got a new truck in September. Gabby, what's up? <laughs> Can I talk? Are you watching this vlog? Probably not. Well you better watch it, okay? And subscribe. So Anyways, he got this truck in September. No, baby. In September. Y'all, I am so blind. I can't even see the damn thing. So, yeah. So, he got a, a, this truck in September. And it's a diesel. It's really nice. I'll show you. Already with like 20% tires. Here. Anyways, yeah. we're gonna um, end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this mug buying wipey. <coughs> and yeah. So, say bye, Ned. Bye.
you guys so much for watching our video and i'll see you guys in our next bye video. guys bye